We know that immune system protects our body from all kind of harmful pathogens and serves like a defense system for our body. But sometimes there are situations that is faced by our immune system known as hypersensitivity. Now, hypersensitivity is an overreacting situation of the immune system. Now, you can also think of that our immune system is hypersensitive. Definitely, sensitivity is important for any kind of physiological system to protect our body. But hypersensitivity, instead of being beneficial, it's detrimental. Now, the hypersensitivity could be of different types. Out of that, type 2 hypersensitivity is IgG mediated or anti prevalently antibody mediated and it involves complement fixation and degradation of the cells by antibody dependent cytotoxicity so both these are the features of type 2 hypersensitivity normally when our body encounters a harmful bacteria then there are like antibody producing plasma cells which produce antibody against this bacteria let's say on specific antigens on these bacteria and the cells of our body which has fc receptors which can recognize these antibodies such as a macrophage such as a neutrophil can bind to these antibody on uh, which are like decorating the bacteria and now they can release chemicals which would destroy the bacteria or the macrophage might even engulf the bacteria and thereby body get rid of these pathogen and that's how the body fights back but this antibody secretion could be also detrimental under certain some circumstances. Instead of destroying a bacterial cell or a pathogenic cell, it can destroy your own cells as well. So let us take a live example to understand this antibody-mediated type 2 hypersensitivity reaction in details. So one of the greatest examples of type 2 hypersensitivity reaction is mismatch blood transfusion. So it occurs. And we know that like there are like four blood group, right? Blood group A, B, A, B, and O. And blood group A has anti B antibody in the serum, whereas A antigen. Blood group B is reverse. It has B antigen on the RBC surface, whereas anti A antibodies in the serum. Blood group AB doesn't have any kind of antibody in the serum, but has both the antigens on its RBC surface. Now blood group O doesn't have any kind of antigens on its surface but it has all the antibodies like anti-A and anti-B present in the serum. Now, let's say, let's imagine a situation where a donor with blood group B is donating blood to a recipient with a blood group A. So, clearly, there is a mismatch. And see what happens after the mismatch. So, remember that blood group A has A antigen on its surface, whereas B antibody in its serum. Blood group B has B antigen on its surface, whereas anti-A in its serum. Now, when have the, when, when, here is a blood cell which is coming from the donor. And on the donor's RBC, there is B antigen present, right? But this donor RBC is now circulating inside the environment of the host's blood, right? And the host blood serum has a lot of anti B antibody. This anti B antibody would bind to the B antigen on the top of the donor's RBC. And eventually, what would happen is quite detrimental. First, these antibody could lead to complement fixation, and the complement proteins might decorate the RBC surface and thereby creating a membrane pore on this RBC. As a result, this RBC would be lysed. Also, it is possible that. These antibody decorate the RBC surface and it is engulfed by a antigen presenting cell or a macrophage. Either the way, there is lysis of the RBC, and this is also called uh, reactive hemolysis. And there is a situation, especially in newborns, known as erythroblastosis fetalis, which is a consequence of type 2 hypersensitivity. Now, in this case, what happens in short, the anti RH antibody travels from the mother's blood to the embryo or to the developing baby and destroys it via several mechanisms. So let's look at this process in a little bit details. So imagine we have a RH positive father and a RH negative mother. 
So the baby would be somewhere Rh positive, right? Now here, the Rh negative mother doesn't have any kind of antigen on the surface of the blood cell. Now Rh positive father has D antigens on RBC membrane. So the baby, which would also have Rh positive blood, which would, which would have D antigen on its surface. Now, since baby's uh, circulatory system is initially connected to the mother's circulatory system, there could be blood exchange, but initially nothing happens. Things go wrong when during the first pregnancy. When the baby is about to born and the, during parturition, there is a breakage of the umbilical cord. And what happens is there is some amount of backflow of like fetal blood to the maternal blood. Now, this fetal blood has the RBCs which has D antigen. In maternal blood, you don't have that. So, what happens is inside the mother's body, anti inside the mother's body, what happens is anti D antibodies are produced. Now, even though in the first pregnancy the antibodies are produced, by that time birth has happened. Nothing happens to the baby. Now, eventually. There are B cells. The baby is born normally, the first pregnancy. There are plasma cells, which secretes IgM against this D antigen is produced. Also, there are some memory B cells are produced, which can later secrete IgG. Now, since this IgM, which is specific to the antigen group D, is pretty big because IgGM are pentameric, so it's very hard for them to cross the placenta. So this is not a harm. During the second pregnancy, what is harmful is the IgG antibodies because it can cross the placenta and it can go inside the baby's bloodstream and what it can do is lyse its RBC. And as a lysis of the RBC, hemoglobins are out. Now there is like huge amount of hemolysis which leads to a problem in uh, the infant. First of all, there is huge amount of blood loss. Most of the cases, the infant don't survive that. And that's why there is death at these during the second pregnancy. But nowadays, nobody really dies. And there are ways to prevent this kind of hypersensitive reaction. And the principle is fairly simple. Imagine a jet plane. Now, when it is chased by a missile, one of the options this jet plane can do is release flares and which would destroy the missile in the mid-air, right? And the air, airplane is safe. So, similar kind of strategy can be adopted to save these babies from hemolysis. So, we know that the baby's body has D antigen and there would be different kind of antibodies produced again against it. But if you give a sequestering molecule, which would sequester these antibodies which are produced in the mother's body, then it won't be harmful anymore. And thereby, the baby would survive. And thereby, you can get rid of the harmful effect of type 2 hypersensitivity. I'm sorry here, it's written as B antibody or B antigen. It actually, I meant D antigen, which is important for RH blood groups. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.